Hey, hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be covering some newly released modules by Rapid7 for Metasploit 6.2.21. I think it was dot two, two as well. Yeah, and uh, what I'm going to be looking at is Remote Mouse RCE that was recently released today. Also in conjunction with um, new Boff Loader which is pretty cool. I thought that was interesting because uh, you can use Cobalt Strike situational uh, boffs and stuff like that to uh, as an extension with Metasploit. So I thought that was awesome. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of go over like a two-step process by exploiting a, uh, using a module for Metasploit, the Remote Mouse X, uh, RCE uh, module, and then loading up boff loaders to see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and jump into this real quick. Let's go ahead and search for remote mouse. And we'll go ahead and use the one that we see here. Go ahead with the options. Let's go ahead and set payload to Windows X64 uh, interpreter. Yeah. And I'm going to do reverse HTTP. And we're going to go ahead and set port to let's go ahead and do uh, a5e5 let's go ahead and set l port to 7575 uh, what is our cali ip right now oh go ahead and set uh, l post 192.168.68.131 and let's go ahead and set l actually our host we already have our host set. We do not. 68.128 is our Windows endpoint that is running remote mouse right now. That process hacker broken now to see what this is going on. And all looks well. And if this works, we should be able to get a interpreter session back. Let's go ahead and run it. And version 4.11, sending Windows key, opening commands, sending the stage bytes, and boom, there we go. Uh, let's see what we get from Elastic. Okay, so you just saw Elastic kind of get angry with us there for a second. Um, you know, as it should. Um, and let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead and execute the uh, ball floater. Um, I wonder if we can set this setting real quick. Let's go ahead. Uh, can we background this? Yes. And let's go ahead and set auto low STA. I think it's STDAPI. False. And two sessions, tag I. One. Let's do. Uh, uh, XR as it loaders, it load, it's load, uh, boff loader. Yeah, there it is. Oh, uh, pretty cool, like a little spooky thing just in time for Halloween. And here's there's some credit to these uh, folks right here. Uh, really cool. So, actually, tested one out earlier. Um, and I think we can do it like this. Let's just see if this works. Execute boff. I have one that I pulled down from GitHub. Uh, we're going to do x64, I believe. And let's see. Do you get any alerts? And I do not believe we do. And here we are. We have some information uh, that really looks like it was loaded in memory. Um, if I'm understanding how the beacon object files work correctly. Uh, here we do we have uh, who we are, uh, the workstation, and the information groups. So, this is what we would use to then trek forward. So, we kind of put like a chain to here RCE, that would guys call out the gate. But now we're doing stuff with beacon object files just to see more situational awareness uh, about that and everything else. Uh, so, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I'm going to explore these some more. Um, but overall, I like the new models that were released. And I like the load boff loader, loader. That was pretty cool. Um, there's all other kinds of uh, boff loaders that come with this uh, GitHub repo. Um, net groups, uh, environments, art, 
uh, things like that, NetView, Notepad. Uh, we could probably do some service enumeration. So let's look at SC query and X64, see if we can just blow this thing up. Execute, uh, fail to query service 487. So not that, I'm still kind of getting familiar with all these. Let's do net, let's do net stats real quick. Net stat, I'm sure there's, just, there's certain flags that we're gonna have to use with these and no argument specified and uh, here we really have let's see it's uh yeah elastic seems to be taking a back seat on this one no alerts uh, but yeah so we're definitely uh, getting some more information using these here's our actual initial inject right there so uh looks like here Okay, yep, so there's us right here, yep. Pretty cool. Uh, so more situational awareness. I wonder if there's anything with AV, can we do some AV enumeration? Uh, let's see here, situational awareness, ADV, ARC, Calpster, environments. Uh, let's see if we can actually do a Windows list. Is there anything for system? Um, let's see, oh, SCNOM. So let's see if we can actually go into SCNOM 64 and see if we can uh, actually enumerate any more information. So yes, we can look and we actually have services and stuff that we were able to get. And nothing is causing the actual callback to go down. So yeah, I think these bots are pretty cool. I think they're a great extension um, to uh you know metasploit as a whole and i'm really excited to keep using them and you know, get more spun up on them uh and stuff like that so yeah really cool like the rce module uh like the boff loader uh and shout out to these folks right here really good work uh, until next time i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video take it easy have a good weekend peace